Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Blood for Land. We are almost done with this mod, apparently. There's only, I think, two, maybe three more battles left. Well, before we head onward to one of those, we are going to be having a look here. Never mind, Khan. Uh, no, it's not the Khan, actually, but never mind. Uh, if I release you, what can you do for me? Yes. You have a deal. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh wow. Look at that. It gave us plus four to athletics and plus four to iron flesh as well. Well, that's a very nice potion, I suppose you could say. And we're going to be a lot more difficult to kill and we're going to be a little bit faster as well when we inevitably get taken off our horse, which is most likely going to happen within the next two seconds of the next map. Who knows? So let's have a look. I'd like to gather taxes from Bear Mountain, there's 1,900, and a mountain cloak? That's not the way, that's not the place I wanted to go. Ah, mountain cloak, it's actually not that good. Oh, well that's, that's, uh, yes, that's kind of a shame actually. I thought to myself, oh, we're going to get something amazing. Oh, no, it's not, it's not actually something amazing. Okay, well, let's go to the frozen tundra then, I suppose. This is the only one left from the magistrate, and then... It's only the lands across the ocean, so we'll have to speak to the Wharf Master and things like that. The Snow King and his followers are few, but well-trained and powerful. Right. Okay, well, let's just, let's just get all of this going immediately. Let's get that going. There we go. And should I get Oxen Hall? Yeah, let's just get everything that we can right now. And I guess we're then just going to wait, but... That's the thing, I don't know whether I should just, like, really run very, very quickly and then and then just kind of storm them really fast, but that's the thing, I don't think that's actually a really decent tactic. I mean, it seems like the rush tactic is not going to work very well because, you know, the, the travel time from your base to the enemy's base is usually quite a lot, and by the time your Axeman you know, force that you would most likely have at that point is probably going to just take way too long to reinforce yourselves and uh, yeah, you're just going to get pushed back inevitably. So yeah, it's probably not a very good idea to do that, but let's just have a look and see. There are some enemies coming. I should probably get a barracks and an upgrade for the Axeman. And where are they? Are they are they archers or I, I don't even know what they're doing right now. Oh, who's that? There seems to be an NPC over here. I'm actually going to run over there real quick and see what's going on. Mm, oh, that, whoa, they're actually really well geared, these units. Who's this? Hello. I don't know who you are, but you seem to be... Midgard bolts? Oh, Midgard bolts. Oh, no, I'm being shot by those. <laughs> yeah, I'm being shot by those. I thought to myself, oh, there must. Uh, there's a secret item in the door there. No, no, it's literally just me being shot. Okay, so let's advance to the Iron Age right now. And let's just get a bunch of other things going on here. And I'd like to get a military academy because that can give us the scorpion warriors. Come on now. Ah, uh, yeah, it's going to take me a bit of time to get some resources together. Alright, so we have every single economic upgrade as far as I'm aware. I think probably we're missing one thing. I think it's the... Uh, I can't even remember what it is, but I think we need to build the, what is it now, the blacksmith, I think? Yeah, there we go. And that gives us the steel saws upgrade, and now we basically have everything that we require. Now, obviously, we have a pretty significant force right now. It's, it's only 16, actually, but the enemies obviously have a lot more than that. But, well, I don't think they'll be having more than us for very long, because look at them. They, they're actually dying very, very easily, and that gives us a level up. Indeed, so I'm very, very happy with that. Now, obviously, this is going to be pretty difficult for cavalry to get up the hill over there. So we're going to be hard-pressed to actually make our way up reasonably quickly. So I'm going to get a caravan here. We're going to start seeing what we're going to gain. I don't know what it is on this map. If it is food, then we should actually be in a really good position. If it's gold, then I'm not entirely sure. Usually, the enemy likes to be really annoying when it comes to us trying to get gold, and they usually try to stop us. But maybe this time around they'll be a little bit different, who knows. It seems like the Snow King has a bow of some sort that is very, very powerful, so I'm a little bit worried about that, i got to say, because I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty easy to kill, to be honest. So, ah, uh, it is Velvet. It is actually Velvet. Okay, well, let's just try and spam some caravans as much as we can while we have the 
well, advantage, and, and technically having map control is relatively nice to have, so let's try and do our very best here. I'm going to try and assist our units as, be uh, oh, yes, as best as I can. Uh, yes, these guys, these Axemen, obviously they are the, the worst unit that we have access to, technically, but you would expect them to do a little bit better, wouldn't you? Because they do have two-handed axes, and they should be able to crush through blocks, or at least I hope so. But I think for the most part, we're fine. We're absolutely fine because for these caravans, it only costs 100 food and we have, well, 760. So it is, it's very, very easy to deal with. And the caravans seem to be going over there. Aha. All right. So to do this, what I think we're going to do now is we're going to get some of these. There we go. We're going to get, I don't even know how many we have of those, but it doesn't really matter. What we're going to do is we're going to place these guys. Hmm, I don't I don't want to place them on the hill there because they're going to waste ammo pretty badly. So I'm just going to tell our archers just to hold fire right now. And then we're going to maybe... Hmm, yes, that's the thing. I, I Okay, we're just going to go for some more Axemen here because we have the overabundance of resources. I'm not going to go overboard with them because I don't want to spend too much food. Because we do need caravans still, of course, but... Yeah, I'd like to try and get a rolling caravan force going, so every single second, or shall we say every single, every couple of seconds, I don't think you can actually do it with it where it's every single second unless you just absolutely consolidate all your forces right here, which is actually what I'm doing, hilariously enough, kind of. But yeah, let's see if I can prevent our caravans from being ransacked. And I think my horse is going to die now. Yes, it is. That's actually fine. I don't mind that. Because now I do get to use my axe on foot. And we actually do get a little bit of use out of our athletic skill. Or maybe not. Because I think maybe we're going to get headshot very, very soon. Because they seem to be pretty menacing. They do. Oh my. Okay, well. Oh no, this is not good. This is certainly not good. Okay, well. Let's see what we can do. Ah, yes, yes. They're, they're, mm -hmm, yes, they have snow knights. Where are the snow angels? That's what I'm asking. And where's the snow cones? Yes, the snow cones are bound to be the most overpowered. Okay, well, let's see. Oh, this is this is not looking good, is it? This is not looking good at all. Okay, so let's get a temple. And I think we're probably going to get Frisian knights now, because we can. And we do need to have them to counter the snow knights that they have. So hopefully that's going to be the case. If it's not, then I'm going to be very, very disappointed. But we're going to try our best. Oh no. Oh, this is not good. No, no. Oh, how dare you. That guy has a very long rod that he wanted to thrust into my face. I'm not particularly happy about that. Because, well, it hurt quite a bit. Ah, oh, well, that's a shame. Okay, well, I guess what I can do now is that now that I have some pretty reasonable forces in the form of the Frisian Knights, we might be able to go for another couple of caravans. But obviously I would like to revive myself if possible. Ah, there we go. Yes. There we are, very nice. And our horse is back. Now, is this horse crippled? Is this horse crippled? I would like to find out... <sighs> really, where's my where's my baggage? Where is my baggage? Oh, I, do, I don't see it anywhere for some reason. Oh, well, never mind. Doesn't really matter so far, but... Yeah, I'd really like to... What, who's that? Oh, oh, they're the, they're the pilgrims that we gained from one of our previous conquests. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. Hmm... I think we'll go for some scouts, to be honest. I know that, you know, going for the scouts instead of the Frisian Knights is not actually the best thing to do. And obviously, they are going to be pretty weak going up this hill over here. But it's the best thing that I can kind of think of to do without spending the resources that the Frisian Knights require. Because those guys are really, really good. And I'd like to get them in a critical mass situation. I mean, like, right now, that is not going to help at all. Because these guys are absolutely slaughtering us. Now, I'd like to see where the Snow King is and what he's actually using, because that might determine whether we're able to break the lines here. Because if he's got infinite ammo, which it seems like he might have... Yeah, there he is. Is that him? Is that him with the, with the curved sword? I'm not entirely sure, but we are keeping them at bay, which is always nice. Okay, our scouts are just absolutely being massacred right now. Okay, let's get some Malachite crossbowmen here. Let's get some... Composite Bowman as well. 
We just need to bombard them back, I think, because I'm gonna I'm gonna die here because I'd like to play as a different character now, I think, because it seems like my own skills are not enough to take us to where we need to go. So I'm going to Oh wow, we oh oh yes, we have a lot. Okay, so I'm probably gonna spawn myself as a scorpion warrior here. And then I'm going to get a bunch more caravans. And by a bunch, I mean four, because I ran out of food, which is kind of sad, actually, because, yeah, we would have been able to get, I don't even know, six, seven, eight caravans all at once, and that would have been really nice, but it seems like most of our forces are actually doing a really nice job at keeping them back, or, in, you know, other words, throwing their bodies on them and, yeah, dying pretty badly, so, yeah, if they keep doing that, then that's great. Because that means I don't really have to worry about doing anything myself. And I can just kind of sit back and allow our forces to do their thing. Because obviously now our ranged units have gotten into range. Yes, ranged units into range. Wow. That's hmm, it's kind of ridiculous. But yeah, anyway, there it is. We now have or should have the ranged advantage. So let's see what happens. I'd like to get some more caravans, please. Because once I, once I get enough caravans, I can literally just spam Templars, and I think we'll probably just win from that. Maybe. Alright, so this is actually going extremely well. I think I've changed some of my strategy around a little bit, because usually what I'd be doing is just kind of spamming infantry, or spamming some kind of cavalry unit, and just kind of charging in there. And I think that's kind of a mistake, because right now I have... A, basically a, what, what is it called now, kind of like a beachhead, and I'm basically preventing any of the enemies from even getting close to us by having an overwhelming amount of Malachite marksmen. Now obviously this isn't going to actually further our cause. Ooh my, that was a big spawn in. Okay, so as you can see, look at our gold total right now. Yes, our gold total is absolutely insane, and it's going to continue doing that because we just have so much in the way of production because we have caravans running constantly towards the velvet and they're gathering it and selling it for us and it's just amazing so yeah look at that look do you see that on the map there those are the caravans running back and forth right there and i think we have uh, enough malachite marksmen here to be able to just kind of defend doesn't even doesn't even really need to make too much difference in terms of the damage we're able to do to the keep or anything like that but this is kind of like more of a, an investment strategy because you will be able to then gain so many Templars which I think I'm probably gonna gain very soon I yeah that's the thing I'm gonna be a little bit worried about this because we are losing a lot of our marksmen right now but I think it will be worth it I think it will be worth it I mean as you can see we've got some marksmen coming over there now and they're gonna have you know, refresh their bolts and everything, because obviously I think our current marksman ran out of ammo, so that's not very nice. Oh, that guy really hit quite hard, didn't he? Well, that's a shame. Anyway, now we can spawn as a Templar. Oh, yes. And we can get some other Templar with us. Oh, yes, this is also going to be... Oh, wow, this is going to be pretty insane. Okay, so as you can see... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty good. And what are you doing? What are you doing, caravans? They seem to be a bit stuck. Did I get too many? Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I got a bit too many. Well, that's kind of a shame. I think we're probably not going to have any more gold coming our way. So that's a little bit, hmm, that's a little bit worrying. I have to say. Maybe we should have gotten some Frisian knights instead of the Templar. I, I actually don't know about that to be honest. Okay, so let's go for some sword militia here to back up our Templar, and then we're also going to go for some composite bowmen because that's all we can afford basically right now. And all the gold is going to continue coming in. I'm going to continue spamming Templars. I hope that that is going to make a difference. And we're going to hopefully be able to break their lines. Because we haven't actually even been able to do that just yet. Because every single time we get up there, they always get a really, really huge wave spawn. And it kind of prevents us from basically doing anything. So, yeah. So let's hopefully be able to do that. I'm going to get a bunch of Axemen as well. And oh, what else? I guess we'll get some Scorpion Warriors. As much as I can get, at least, because I barely have any food right now. But yeah. Okay, so come on, infantry. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. This is going to be pretty good, I think. Isn't it? 
Or, or are they? Uh, they're probably just going to get cut down, aren't they? They're just going to get cut down by the enemies shooting us from range. If you get killed by these shield bearers, I will be very mad because literally, these shield bearers are the the lowest damage that the enemies have, I believe, and I find that amusing to even contemplate that the Templar unit would die one-on-one -on -one to one of these. Okay, so we are having some difficulties actually making it up here, but, well, that's just how it's, it's going to have to be right now. We can't really do much about that. I'm going to try and get more of these, more of these. There we go. And, oh, no, I'm not going to get shot. Thank you very much. I'm going to use your bodies against you. Yes. There we go. Okay. Everything seems fine, actually. Everything seems to be going quite nicely right now. Or is it? Because I am kind of distracting some of them. Yes! There we go. I think we've broken their lines, finally. It took an entire, what is it, 20 or so Templar to be able to do this? I don't know. I, I don't know. But it is it is the final map, I guess. So, well, final map from the Magistrate, at least. So I can assume that that would be the reason. Okay, there we go! The Snow King has been taken off the field of bat... Darien? Is it King Darien, the Snow King? Snow King is King Dar... What, what, what is that? Because if, if I recall correctly, King Darien was the first ever enemy that we had to fight. So has he taken up the reins of being the Snow King? The reins, you get it? You know, Santa Slay and everything? Oh, well. Anyway, let's see what I can do. Uh, what else do I want? Okay, yeah, let's just get some Scorpion Warriors right now because we have the resources to be able to do that. Let's get some more Templar. Let's get another, you know, couple of those. And let's get some scouts to just run across the battlefield as quickly as possible. And I'm just going to hit away at this door. Oh, yes. Knock, knock. Well, they tried their very best. They did spawn in a very, very strong wave of 45 troops, but as you can see here, they were all eliminated. They're spawning in some very, very small waves right now, in, in, intermittently. They don't really give you that much of a challenge right now, but that's the thing. The frequency of the really, really strong waves is obviously going to be increasing, and it seems like we've won. That was... Well, I think that was actually... Hmm, I don't know whether it was more difficult or less difficult than Bear Mountain. I think it was... I think it was probably less difficult, only by a small margin. Because Bear Mountain, they did have those really, really strong champion mountaineers and things like that. So, very happy to actually be done with that. And did we capture the Snow King? I think we captured the Snow King. So, let's see if we can actually speak to him and see what he gives us. Hello there, Snow King. All right, so if I release you, what can you do for me? I could teach you of our people's iron mining techniques. This could help you greatly in your wars. Yes, I could use more knowledge of iron mining. Iron mining skill plus four, and we gained a new horse, which I very much like because it has some little things on it. It has some, some awesome-looking armor and all, all that cool stuff, yes. Anyway... We now have only two maps remaining, and they are all, but well, all, yes, I was about to say, they are all from the Wolf Master, but there's only two, so both, they are both from the Wolf Master. So let's have a look here. Let's see. 15,000 and 20,000. All right, so yeah, we certainly have enough for that. I can now level up. I think we'll go for some more strength. Look at my athletics. It's gone all the way up to 10. Yeah, turn it up all the way to 10, thank you very much. And Iron Mining has gone all the way up to 9 now as well, which is even better. So, let's get another point in Riding Skill. We may as well make the most of our new horse, I guess. And next time, I suppose we'll do one of the new maps. So, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.